Hey, good evening. How you all doing? It's Lady Light Leash. Leisha, also known as Ladybug. And it has been a little while since I've actually done a YouTube video. Um, this evening, I feel as if I've actually been compelled to make a video. Um, and I'm trying to do it without attaching my emotions and the way I actually feel. And I'm going to try and be pragmatic and um, logical and look at it from a um, maybe sort of, you know, unbiased, non-judgmental point of view. Um, I messed something up earlier on today and I know it wasn't my best start to what it is that I was doing. As you all full well know, I um, co-host a radio show and it is somewhat a nerve-wracking experience, I'll be honest with you. Um, the person that I co-host with is full of energy, full of passion, full of knowledge um, and he sometimes is misunderstood and I do my best to curb my tongue because I know my mouth can be horrible and I also do my best to see things from his perspective and appreciate his passion and his seriousness and his efforts that he's putting into what it is that he's doing and also helping me along the journey as well. However, there are times I do feel as if I'm around and a little bit of a scapegoat maybe for when things don't go quite right. It feels like there's someone to blame and it's made me very cautious of what it is that I say around him. And that's not good if you're on radio. You can't clam up, you can't freeze up. As they say, the show must go on. And that's what happened today. I didn't clam up, but I didn't say something maybe the way that he wanted me to say it or in the, the time frame that he wanted me to say it. So I could have sat back and I could have got really angry. Um, I could have been upset by what was happening. But more importantly, what I discovered was is that I was embarrassed. And at that point, I don't know what to say. It's best I just keep quiet. Because embarrassment leads to people's feelings being hurt. And that's why I said I wanted to try and speak about not how I felt, but the actual situation. It doesn't matter what I say after it's happened. Even if I try to make good, it's not going to be good enough. So I've got to really weigh up where it is that I'm at with myself more than anything, not with anybody else. And because I don't shout and scream and jump up and down and, you know, I've got certain knowledge or I know this and I know that and I know how to do this and I know how to do that, maybe it seems as if I'm standoffish or if I don't want to share information or if I don't have very good social skills, perhaps. But when people start raising their voice at me in public and around other men especially and I'm the only woman in the room, I know my place, I know my role. And it isn't to argue back, it's just to let them take the lead, sit back and keep quiet. That's what I've learned to do. And so far, it's allowed me to remain alive with minimal bruises and minimal damage. <laughs> yeah. So as much as this may seem as if like there's one of those weird recordings where I don't really know where she's coming from or where she's going with this. All it is is that sometimes when you're in a partnership or in a business with somebody and things aren't going quite right, if two people are shouting each other, then nobody's being heard. If one person's shouting and the other person's listening, then at least one person's being heard. One person who isn't shouting is just listening. Maybe they've got something worthwhile saying, but they just don't want to shout about it. So just remember sometimes what you put out is not always what you get back. And you can't always treat people how you want to be treated. Because they may want to be treated like a piece of shit, quite frankly. And I don't. So I will continue to treat people how I want to be treated. And if they don't like it, if they want to misconstrue it, or if they want to interpret it into something that it isn't, then that's on them. Because as my mum says, and I want this to go down in history, your reaction is your responsibility. And I chose not to react. And I think that's the way forward for a lot of us. 
actions, yeah, reactions, nah, bless her, take care.